We are prone to judge. We judge without even getting to the core of the story. As much as you feel like you see something, there is always a hidden aspect and a hidden gem to discover. Tripoli will now be revealed to you through our binoculars. Tripoli, Parablos, the second largest city in Lebanon, is the city of the disadvantaged. It is encumbered with duality and it utters with two extremes. Tripoli is marginalized, but regardless of that, it is the zenith of energy and good vibes. It is the city of need, yet it is the city of giving. It's rich. Rich with the kind-hearted and generous people, rich in culture, and rich in the vividness and constant exertion. Tripoli never sleeps, and always welcomes the people with open arms and with warmth. One of Tripoli's greatest gems is its markets, or souks, as we like to call them. The Mansouri Great Mosque is the oldest in Tripoli and was built in 1294 by the Mamluks. It was named after their Sultan, Mansur Qalawan. Tripoli was dominated by the Crusades, but fell under the Mamluks, whose origins go back to the Eurasian steppe. If you get down to the brass tacks of the architecture of the mosque, you will discern that the door and the minaret are of Christian structure that was fused into Muslim Arabesque edifice. Suq al Dahab is the gold market where jewelers manufacture unique designs and sell high end costume made gold. Khan al Sabun is the souk of soap, using organic materials such as extra virgin oil and other beneficial herb based oils. Bazarkan Market is the place where you can find all kinds of personal items such as clothes, shoes, towels or anything that crosses your mind, like anything. What is appealing and heartwarming is that shops are side by side, yet shop owners do not have competition and support each other. These markets are all interconnected, there are veins branching out from the same heart. Entering one market will lead you to reach the other, maneuvering through the city in a joyous promenade. Next up, Bathhouse of Azzedine. It is the largest in Lebanon and is approximately built between 1295 and 1299. The basis of this bathhouse was constructed during the presence of the Crusaders. Later on, it was constructed by the Mamluks. The bathhouse was for the public, but now it is only open for touristic purposes. Su an Nahasin is the market of the coppersmith. All of the items there are constructed from scratch and made from copper, and you can find unique custom-made items. The perfumer's souk, or souk al-attarin as we call it, is the hub of essence extraction and perfume fabrication. The souk is not confined within the framework of scents. You can find spices, herbs, dried fruits, and nuts. And guess what? Candy! The Market of Tailors, or Su al Khayyatin. It is filled with garments, textiles, wool, yarns, and silk from all over the world. Colors bulge out from the shops and the sound of the tailoring machines doom the market. You know, Tripoli is painted with contrast. It is a city of life masqueraded with darkness. The darkness of the misfortunate people striving to live day by day, but trying to color their city on their own. The hue of Tripoli, it represents a portion of Lebanon's palette. 
of rich culture and hospitable, friendly people. Now tell us, will you ever visit Tripoli?